Good morning, everybody, and I want to welcome you all here to Munster Technological University uh, here in the Bishopstown campus, but to welcome colleagues from across the university and to, to welcome colleagues who are joining us here in Bishopstown and online and indeed um, partners from other institutions as well. Um, just, I suppose, just initially, I'd just like to just maybe deal with the housekeeping for those of us who are in here in Bishopstown. So uh, in the event of any emergency, there's no fire alarms timed or anything like that for this morning, but in the event of an emergency, the exit is out this way to my left here behind. Um, um, before we get uh, the proceedings underway, it would be remiss of me not to thank um, several people who were involved in this. You'd be always loath to mention uh, specific people at the risk of offending others, but there, that said, there needs to be a couple of people uh, acknowledged in particular. So first of all, um, I'd like to thank um, so many colleagues across the university who've been involved in the academic integrity agenda in MTU over many years. And I suppose in this context at the moment, as we develop our new policy for the university, I'm thinking of all members of our regulations and quality enhancement assur um, insurance uh, in, uh, committee of academic council and indeed academic council itself. And about 12 months ago, we took the decision to set up a working group of that committee to progress the development of policy and procedures for academic integrity. And that's chaired by Dr. Violetta Morari. And you'll meet Dr. Violetta in, in a moment. And Violetta's had a very key role in organizing today's event. And indeed is one of our nominees on, on, on the National Academic Integrity Network. Um, I'd also like to uh, acknowledge um, the support of Dr. Garoda Sulevoin and his colleagues in the Technology Enhanced Learning Department here. And uh, it feels like going on the late, late show or something with the hybrid and the tech and all that. And I know that things like this don't happen by magical thinking. And I, I certainly understand there was active preparation going on on Friday to get all the tech right. Delighted here to be joined by Registrar's Office colleagues and um, in particular Dr. Brendan O'Donnell, my colleague in, in, in M2 Kerry and Aileen Kennedy, Assistant Registrar and Head of Student Engagement. And indeed, just to acknowledge as well that Brendan is wearing so many hats on this one because he's also here in terms of his leading out and then tutor with Louise Nagel, Dr. Louise Nagel, the project lead, and indeed Garode is involved in the steering group as well. And just to acknowledge um, our own and tutor people locally, but also the huge work that's going on nationally in terms of bringing an event like today to, to fruition. So yes, academic integrity is an, an, um, a topic that's foremost in our minds at the moment in the academic agenda in higher education. And, uh, you know, in particular, I suppose, developments, you know, over recent months with, with open AI and so on are, are really forcing us to have good long think about our approach. Um, but, you know, I today we're d delighted to be joined by two experts here, um, Sarah Lane Eaton and Kane Murdoch. I was delighted to meet Sarah last night for the first time, and we had a good old chat about, you know, the measures they've been taking in Calgary and so on. I had met Kane before um, at a QQI session there about a year and a half ago, and all I can say is from knowing them to date, to date I'm promising you a very interesting session. It's going to be informative. It may be scary at times, it's going to be challenging, but ultimately I hope that it's going to be really, really protect, uh, productive. So uh, without further ado for me, I just want to wish everybody involved, our speakers and yourselves, participants, whether here or, in, or on, across the university and indeed online, uh, a very, very productive session today and something that I hope you get worth out of. So I'm delighted now to hand over to Dr. Guru de Solvain, who will take us through some of the more techier aspects of today's event. Garmil Magov. Okay, thanks very much, Anya. So, uh, as Anya says, my name is Gerald O'Sullivan. I'm the head of the Department of Technology Enhanced Learning. Uh, we're providing a lot of the services and supports today in terms of streaming and, and broadcasting. And I suppose as part of that, we're, we're, we're keen that the online attendees would have an engaging experience as well as the in-person people who are here. I think we've 277 people registered, I'm not sure how many are, are, are tuning in at the moment, but one of the ways in which we want to 
ensure engagement for the online participants and make it a, a more democratic experience for them, I suppose, is through the use of an audience response system. So we're using a system a lot of you might be familiar with called Slido. Um, it's quite easy to use. Some of you might have noticed already, in fact, that we've invited people to submit questions to be asked of our speakers later on during the live panel, okay? So if you haven't used, and we've already got some really great questions I've seen, but if you haven't used Slido before, it's quite straightforward. All you have to do is go to slido.com in your browser. You can, if you're in the room, you can, you can do it on your phone as well. So slido.com and enter the code MTU Integrity. And just about now, I think we're opening up a new poll, something for people to be engaging with um, during our first presentation. And you'll hear from me again after that presentation where I'll present some of those uh, results and, and give, and it's good for us, I suppose, as well, to get a sense of where the, where the audience are at with things. And, and again, I think, might provide the foundation uh, for some of our discussion later on in the day. Okay, so you'll hear from me again. Right now, though, I'm gonna hand you over to my colleague, Violetta, who's going to introduce our first speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much, Karoud, and hello, everyone. I'd like to, again, welcome everybody that I made the time to come here, so I know how hard it is to have two consecutive hours. So um, all of you who managed to make it here in person or online, um, we're delighted to have you. Um, I know it's week five, uh, week four for some, and assessments are kicking in, and it's really difficult. So um, it is amazing for us to have two um, experts such as Sarah and Kane here in Cork. Um, um, welcome to Cork. Cork is... Um, not only the real capital, capital of Ireland, but it also has, um, it's also the island's ancient east, and it's a part of the Atlantic Way. Uh, I mean, we have everything here. You, you, you know, you couldn't be in a better place. Now, you know that Ireland is the land of saints and scholars, so clearly there's no academic misconduct occurring here ever. We were all here for scientific curiosity and just to see what's happening. But seriously, though, we're delighted to have you. And um, our first speaker is Sarah Elaine Eaton. Um, Sarah uh, works in the University of Calgary. Um, she's the associate professor there and also the director of uh, the EDI um, Centre. Uh, now, Sarah has a lot of other, um, I suppose, titles and, and roles, which I'm not going to go into, but um, we bonded, uh, we have a lot in common. We discovered we have uh, a love of Star Trek, which we um, share. We, we disagree on the best captain, but I think that's about, <laughs> that's about all. And um, our academic integrity cats, I think, will have to, to get a hashtag and, and um, take the rightful place in assisting us. So Sarah is going to talk on um, fake degrees and the challenges that uh, they present to um, third-level institutions and students alike. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> 